Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on? I'd like to have some feedback. I will describe briefly the situation and my plan. My name is Roger, 60M, and my STBXP is Joyce, 55F. We live in a country in Europe and we know each other for more than 40 years. Joyce and I have been married, we divorced, financial reason, but stayed together. Our relationship has many ups and downs, but we struggled through. Joyce has a kidney illness and is diabetics. She had several surgeries and uses medication on permanent basis. In 2017 Joyce told me she would leave me for a dude whom she'd met on Tinder. She would move to another town to live together with this guy, leaving me, my daughters and two resident grandchildren behind. This would cause some issues with my work, but I could manage that. At the moment she would have left, her relationship with this guy, fell apart and she, just, stayed at home. We never discussed the issue and life got on. I kind of learned to live with it, but any spark, trust and love between us was gone. We have a sexless period now of almost 15 years and I am fine with that. I work abroad and I am at home in the weekends, the holidays and sometimes an evening to split the week. Even though we are not married, I've never been unfaithful to Joyce. Yesterday I found out that Joyce is sexting with another guy, not the same as the 2017 one, for months and I suspect years. They are sexting every day multiple times, with many hearts, I love yous, I miss yous, dick pics, can't wait to see you, etc. She says things to this dude she has never said to me and she would do things to this guy, she never did with me. I think they never met and were physical, but I am not sure. Joyce does not know I know of her affair. Actually, I am done with her. The house is in her name, the car in my name and we do not have any common assets to divide. I pay the rent, all the bills, groceries, etc. Joyce has no money of her own and she never had a job, I always provided. My plan. I wrote a goodbye letter, giving her the reason and stating that we are done. I want to leave the letter at home when I leave for work and then to never return. I already stored most of my stuff and I have a place to shelter. I know this will crush her, she has a very fragile health and my action could cause a life-threatening situation. Also, she will be without any money. However, how fragile she might be, she knows how to handle other guys. I did everything for this woman and would give my life for her and this is how she repays me. I am not sad or angry, I already have come in grip with this reality, I just want peace. Or should I leave it like it is, pretending I don't know and live my life like it is now, no questions asked? Your feedback would be very welcome. Forced to be there for my WW. I apologize if I'm using the wrong abbreviations, still trying to learn them. My WW's relationship with our 18-year-old daughter has been declining rapidly over the past three years. In February of this year it began a nosedive even with my best efforts to fill in for and explain away the absentee parent. Then D-Day occurred about two weeks ago and has revealed enough of the bad to rock their relationship to its foundation. More important to me than my marriage, or even my well-being, is that our daughter has two parents she can rely on. WW wasn't always a shitty parent, she just forgot how much work is involved and allowed herself to get wrapped up in her own BS. Because of that, I'm left teaching my WW how to be mom again. At this age it's not difficult but still requires a modicum of effort. The small changes and effort WW has begun to put into repairing things has taken a serious emotional toll on her. Not because it's difficult but because it's revealed how absolutely shitty she has become. Picking up the pieces of her abandoned motherhood has given her a glimpse of how much I've been doing to make up for her absence this whole time. She's been forced to face the fact that all of her hurts regarding us were self-inflicted. I'm stuck acting as her advisor, confidant, and rock, even though I'm struggling to come to terms with my own hurt. And I hate myself for it. I know that this is what is needed and that being spiteful will only hurt all of us but I absolutely despise propping up the person who caused all of this misery. Common wisdom is to let her sleep in the bed she made but that would be passing my pain and resentment to our child. So I'll sip my rum and bear it while quietly hating being the type of person that can't stand by when someone needs help. Edit to add, this rant is only regarding this specific facet of my situation. Nothing else that's happening is being mentioned. 
while I was unknowingly covering for her in the past, that ended on D-Day. As many of you have pointed out, our daughter is an adult and will make her own decisions regarding her mother. I just know that the hurt my daughter and I feel is just similar enough that we could have easily turned into an echo chamber. It would have been entirely too easy for me to weaponize our daughter's love, and I'm not willing to cave in to that temptation because that would make me the shitty parent. It's just extremely difficult not to lash out against someone who deserves nothing but contempt from me. GF cheated me with her friend. I don't know where to even start. I ended my relationship about plus two months ago, my mind is still in fog I quest. We were together about 11 years and our relationship was mostly good, but we did have problems too. I wanted to get engaged with her this year too. My problems were mostly with my social anxiety and depression and her problems were kinda hard to say sometimes because no matter I tried, she didn't open up with anybody, not even with me. It was kinda wall and if I tried to be gentle and loving and tried to understand her feelings and thoughts, she was more annoyed and cold. I know that one of her issue was body dysphoria, she is trans woman. This year I started noticing changes with her, like staying outside till late, dressing up, makeup and stuff like that, OFC first I didn't mind it, but it was going on and I stared to worry because I felt alone in our house and she skipped our, just us, dates, I started to have more stress and anxiety, which caused a verbal fight and all the truth came out. She told me that she haven't loved me for two years, that I am roommate for her, I felt used because we had intimacy. Also she told me that she has been cheating with her friend about half year now. Her friend knew about our relationship, she draw a picture of my cats and gathered to our home, while they were cheating behind my back. And they together now. I am also kinda shamed because I let her pressure me to do things, which I didn't enjoy or wanted. Let's say that most of them things would be violating sexual bond, I don't know what's correct term for that. I hope you can understand what I mean. I feel so hurt and deceived, my trust to people has shattered also. I know that someday I will be okay but it still hurts a lot, I am going to therapy ATM. So I quest what I am asking, how you guys did manage to heal from this kind of betrayal and how do you doing now? If you have books or stuff you can recommend, hopefully you can share them. Thanks.